Hello everyone and welcome to our today's session. For today the topic is AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional that is DOP. So the first question is a company has a mobile application that makes HTTP API calls to an application load balancer that is ALB. The ALB routes requests to an AWS Lambda function Many different versions of the application are in use at any given time, including versions that are in testing by a subset of users. The version of the application is defined in the user agent header that is sent with all requests to the API. After a series of recent changes to the API, the company has observed issues with the application. The company needs to gather a metric for each API operation by response code for each version of the application that is in use. A DevOps engineer has modified the Lambda function to extract the API operation name, version information from the user agent header and response code. Question is, which additional set of actions should the DevOps engineer take to gather the required metrics? Options are A. Modify the Lambda function to write the API operation name, response code, and version number as a log line to an Amazon CloudWatch logs log group. Configure a CloudWatch logs metric filter that increments a metric for each API operation name. Specify response code and application version as dimensions for the metric. Option B. Modify the Lambda function to write the API operation name, response code, and version number as a log line to an Amazon CloudWatch logs, CloudWatch metrics, sorry, CloudWatch logs log group. Configure a CloudWatch logs insights query to populate CloudWatch metrics from the log lines. Specify response cloud and application version as dimensions for the metric. Option C. Configure the ALB SS logs to write to an Amazon CloudWatch logs log group. Modify the Lambda function to respond to the ALB with the API, API operation name, response code, and version number as response metadata. Configure a CloudWatch logs metric filter that increments a metric for each API operation name. Specify response code and application version as dimensions for the metric. Last option is option D. Configure AWS X-ray integration on the Lambda function. Modify the Lambda function to create an X-ray subsegment with the API operation name, response code and version number. Configure X-ray insights to extract an aggregated metric for each API operation name and to publish the metric to Amazon CloudWatch. Specify response code and applica application version as dimensions for the metric. So the correct answer is option B. Next question is, a company provides an application to customers. The application has an Amazon API, Gateway REST API that invokes an AWS Lambda function. On initialization, the Lambda function loads a large amount of data from an Amazon DynamoDB table. The data load process results in long cold start times of 8 to 10 seconds. The DynamoDB table has DynamoDB accelerated, that is DAX configured. Customers report that the application intermittently takes a long time to respond to requests. The application receives thousands of requests throughout the day. In the middle of the day, the application experiences 10 times more requests than at any other time of the day. Near the end of the day, the application's requests vo request volume decreases to 10% of its normal total. A DevOps engineer needs to reduce the latency of the Lambda function at all times of the day. So the question is, which solution will meet these requirements? So, options are a. Configure provisioned concurrency on the Lambda function with a concurrency value of 1. Delete the DAX cluster for the DynamoDB table. Option B. Configure reserved concurrency on the Lambda function with a concurrency value of 0. Conf option C. Configure provisioned 
concurrency on the lambda function configure aws application to auto scaling on the lambda function with the with provisioned concurrency values set to a minimum of 1 and maximum of 100 option d configure reserved concurrency on the lambda function configure aws application auto scaling on the api gateway api with a reserved concurrency maximum value of 100 so the correct answer is option c